Thanks everybody for watching this setup video. I'm going to be going over how to create a virtual private server or VPS for the necessity of proof of stake and also master node configuration of multi cryptocurrency wallets. First of all, we're going to be leveraging Vulture. There are many different competitors out there and this is just one of them that I like. So if you go to tinyurl.com slash try Vulture, uh, that is actually a link for my account. Do appreciate you guys using that. So if you will just go ahead and go through the setup process. So I already created an account here, but if we would just uh, use your credentials, right? Um, could be anything that you like. Now, once you get to the screen for billing, right after the username and password, there's a different options that we have, right? We can do credit card, PayPal. I did PayPal. It did take some time. So go ahead and fund your account, come back later. Uh, your funds should be there. So what I already did for this demo is put in $10 so I can create a basic one core machine for proof of stake mining. So I could probably get mm, maybe two to three, depends on uh, the wallet and the size of the blockchains. So for instance, a Dash wallet could be, you know, one to 1.2 gigs by itself. Whereas, you know, something that's very, very new might be two to 400 megs. So it all depends on what you're really uh, working with. So right now, what I'm going to do is go into the server portion because I want to deploy a particular server right so I don't have one right now so I'll just go ahead and deploy and there we go it's fine now I live in the greater Seattle area so I'm going to select Seattle and I want to select a Windows server now from this point I could select a couple options I'm going to go with the $20 per month mainly because I can do more wallets per machine and um, Windows is, is, is going to consume a good one to maybe even two gigs of RAM. So I, I want to make sure I'm not maximizing um, all my uh, resources just to support Windows. And I'm going to be okay with everything here. We'll just say that we'll call this POS underscore one. That works for me. Okay. And we'll go ahead and do that as well. Okay. There we go. And let's click on deploy. It's going to take about a minute and a half or so for that uh, to get created. So if you want to go grab a beverage of choice, feel free to, but uh, it'll be done real quick. Once you're done, click on manage. And then we can see here we are operating on 2012 R2 just like we want. Okay. Now you can hit this uh, system through the Microsoft terminal services. And in order to get to that, what we need to do is we'll specify our IP and then we'll type in MSTSC. Go ahead and copy in the IP. Top. Okay, once we do that, we can do the show configuration for that connection and do administrator. We'll go ahead and copy the password and do a connect. Administrator here. Yep, there is the label name. We'll say don't ask this again. Look at there. We now have a brand new install of Sundo Server 2012. And if you take a look at the current resources, we'll bring up that. So you can see at uh, two core, we're going to be bouncing around, you know, it looks like about probably about two to three uh, percent CPU, not too bad there. And uh, look at there, I mean, even out of your total four gigs of mem memory, that's how much we're using. So uh, I estimated about one gig and we we're pretty darn close there, weren't we? So that's it. At this point, you can connect here. Uh, we got a remote IP, so you can even bring up uh, any one of your uh, wallets of choice. Let's say, okay, there we go. One thing that you would want to do is click on the server manager, go to local. Then what you'll see here is the IE enhanced security configuration. Because if you don't have that set and you bring up any type of connection, maybe we're saying um, we want to go to pivx.org. That's one of the wallets that I've been staking lately. What's going to happen is you're going to come to a security warning. This is actually a built-in mechanism to protect server operations so, or, or servers themselves. So then what we do here is since everything's going to be blocked because it's not trusted, we can override that. So I'm just going to go ahead and get out of here and then select 
that IE Enhancement Security Configuration. And we're just gonna turn that off. Now, if I go back to the PIVX website, there we go, no security warnings. So that's it, um, pretty easy there. You can start the installation of your proof of stake wallets, which I'll show you in future videos. But for now, uh, until next time, peace, see you later.